What is going on YouTube? Year One Blink here, also known as Pokemon Blinks, back with another new video. Today's video, I'm gonna be making a video on fake Pokemon card packs and resealed packs, uh, Wade packs, online singles that you're buying. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna try to help you get the best out of your money for Pokemon cards. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, just by looking at this, which packs are real and which packs are fake? If you guess this pack was real, you would be correct. If you guess these packs are real, you would also be correct. But if you guess these packs were real, you would be incorrect. So if you guess these are fake, congratulations. You're a pretty pro already. So kind of judging at first glance, you wouldn't really recognize the difference, but taking a closer look, Looking closer into this pack, it does look pretty decent. Like the people that do like packs, like if you didn't know much about Pokemon, you'd be like, yeah, that's a real Pokemon pack. But I don't know if you can see on the camera. I feel like it's printed on here. Like if you look really closely, it's really blurry compared to an actual Pokemon pack. That's super clear. And they put too much saturation and contrast on this. They put a little bit too much when they did this. You could probably see better with this one. See? A little bit too much there. This one doesn't have much saturation, much contrast. They're just, you know, normal. Another thing you can also tell, the way the packs feel. These ones feel like more like, you know, like airtight. There's no loose air going through it. It's just compressed, fresh packs. These ones feel all like, they're all squishy. Every, the sides are all like, they make that noise. Yeah, it's just, with a regular pack, it's just not gonna make that weird, crazy noise. Also, these tops. See the tops? There's like three, I believe like three different lines on top. But the Pokemon, you just have one nice crimp. So that's an easy way to tell. They try to get you with this plus six on the Pokemon sign and all that. Rebel Clash. Too bad I don't have no real Rebel Clash packs on me right now. But um, yeah, looking at the back though. You see with the Pokemon company, there's just so much information on the back. It's actually insane. See all that? And then checking out a fake Pokemon pack. That's all there is. Assemble the amazing deck of many cards in the Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield, Rebel <laughs> Wait, Sun and Moon? I thought this was Sword and Shield. Rebel Clash, Tag Team Pokemon. Wait, I, I'm not even done. An exciting new Tag Team Pokemon GX and Strategic Trainer cards. That's a dead giveaway. Third thing. They literally misprint. Sun and Moon and Tag Team Pokemon GX <laughs> on a Sword and Shield pack. That we're already ahead of that, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much. You got to catch them all, guys. At least they did that right. Well, they messed up too. They were supposed to put it right here. <laughs> all right, let's see what's going on with the lazy pack. Opening up fake Pokemon cards. Rebel Clash. So you see the glue they use, it's just cheap and it doesn't open right. That's another thing you guys can tell. Bro, I think we got a hit, God Hands. So we got the Indeedee, Heliolisk. And the way the cards feel, you could tell they're fake. Everything's all glossy and... Yeah, that's not a real card. Just feel the back, you know? Got the Galarian Fletchling. That's supposed to be holographic. <laughs> My mom got me these. And somewhere in LA, she bought them from some lady near Santa Monica. So, yeah. when you, If you guys ever have your parents buy you Pokemon cards, be careful. So, another thing you can tell if you rip it. There's no, uh, there's no ink in the inside. That's the big one. There's literally no ink. And the cards are all glossy and they rip so easy. Got the Snorlax, Bakuda, and 
the Riperior V, guys. We got a big hitters. Woo! Yay! Not really. I, I wrecked my girlfriend with this card on the TCG. <laughs> Actually. But yeah, there's Riperion. There's the first hit we got out of that pack. Alright. Next pack magic. Open up this last fake pack. They didn't even they didn't even hook it up with the hollow in this one. So we got Tool Scrapper, Greedent, Alcremi, Seismitode, Metacham, Pelepper, Caesar. Oh they did. I was lying. No matter what guys, you're gonna get a hollow you're gonna get a V card at the end. We got the Vic of all V, super super zap cannon. At least they got the moves right. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. 190 damage. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item cards in their hand. You could really tell by these V cards. The hollow pattern, they don't even use this type of hollow pattern on V cards. <laughs> so yeah, with the new stuff, guys, watch out with the V cards, you know. <laughs> so these are new, newer, like, fakes. Newer generation of fakes to the <clears throat> to the real Pokemon packs but you also got to be careful some of these could be resealed you got to see what type of glue if it comes out really quick like that what's up with that is that cheap glue or what's going on here we'll have to see this came out of a booster box on eBay so to start out we got the Sizzlipede and you could tell this is real cards at least ball toy because they're not Glossy and they're just they actually feel like paper <laughs> core fish Cacnea you never want to see that guy pig knight actually Galarian slow bro. He's just so toxic in uh, Pokemon unite Got the more peco More peco mecha bell yeah, you see, it's it's rigged. This one feels heavy. I'm telling you, not resealed, please. Either that or Pokemon companies using cheap glue. See that? Oh yeah, we're we're done for. Houndor, Sphinx. Th these packs might be resealed, guys. Like I said, you see that cheap glue? They know how to do it nowadays on eBay. Cherubi, Electivire, you just never know. These, day, these days buying stuff online. If you buy from the stores, it's kind of hard to tell, but yeah. Bam. To really tell the difference between a fake Pokemon card and a real Pokemon card, look at that. This is the real, this is the fake. <laughs> But to even tell more, so the fake, you tear it up. There's no ink lining in the middle. But with the real Pokemon card, they add an extra a layer of ink. So, you can see a white ink line going through it. Or a black ink line. See, there's black coming out because they use stronger ink. In case you guys missed the code cards, there you go. Now we got another Chilling Rain pack. These are definitely not fake because they come out of these Pokemon official like sleeve type things. And these are really hard to reseal. Pack feels fresh and clean. Got some Chilling Rain right here. Ice Rider Calrax. Let's see what we get, guys. This is a fresh pack. See the way that opened? Just bam. Just I'm feeling chilling rain. I'm feeling we're gonna get a hit. Blitzel. Ghastly. Coughing. Deli Bird. Galarian Fletchling. Zeep Straka. And 
Oh, the Agron. I like Agron. Water Energy. Fulinary. Rugged Helmet. Com Crambominable. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed that, hopefully that helped you different what's real and what's fake. And same thing with these Elite Trainer boxes, guys. Be careful. Like, even this one might be resealed. I Like, this is the way it came. Like, you guys got to be careful. Quick. I'm going to be opening up this to see if it was resealed. It seems like it's okay, but we'll have to find out and really tell, guys. Yeah, stay tuned for more Pokemon videos. Peace out.